Good morning, Second Swing Faithful. It is Friday. So, some stuff's been going on. Um, I have completed my first senior professional event. Um, yeah, it was an interesting experience. I had played exactly four rounds of golf going into this. I uh, had a half bag of new equipment. Uh, some of which I had never played on a golf course. And um, yeah, it was about 47 degrees out and pretty windy. So was not the most comfortable uh, physically and not the most comfortable mentally situation to go into for your first professional senior event. Um, shot 75, didn't feel like I played very well. And uh, so I'm used to these qualifiers where, you know, you got to shoot even par, you got to shoot under par, something like that. So I figured it probably wasn't quite that bad, uh, especially given the number of people that they were taking. They took a huge portion of the field, which is nice, uh, put me a little bit more at ease that uh, the very minimal amount that I had been playing would actually uh, be able to translate into a halfway decent performance. So teed off at 10.30, tee time started at 8.30, so I had about two hours of times in. And so I got in and went to talk to the guy that runs the Pennsylvania Golf Association and said, hey man, what's, what's the number gonna be? And he looked at me and he goes, does it have a seven in front of it? I said, yeah. You'll be just fine. So, <laughs> matter of fact, at that point I was low, uh, which I found interesting. Um, ended up tied third for the day. Uh, so that's good. Easily progressed. So I will be playing in the inaugural Pennsylvania Senior Open, which is May 10th and 11th at Lehigh Country Club which I believe I have played. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Um, it's a whole new world, whole new world. So far I like it. Um, being, being a young guy uh, is definitely uh, a different feel compared to being the decidedly old guy trying to play against all the young guys. So uh, I get to be the puppy again. So, um, yeah, so that was the that's the big one. That's that's the big news. Um, still working on equipment, uh, even as a club fitter and somebody who's deeply immersed in the industry, I still am subject to all the back order issues. So anybody out there that's been waiting and waiting and waiting on equipment, uh, I sympathize and I recognize because I had stuff ordered in the middle of January. Uh, one piece is not here yet. Two pieces are, just, are uh, supposed to arrive today. Um, so fairway woods are coming today. I am still waiting on a drive. So uh, hang in there, people. If you go to order equipment, try to be patient. Um, nobody wants to have you wait. I don't think the manufacturers want to have you wait. I certainly don't want to have you wait. I mean, you come to me to try to make your game better, and I'm like, yeah, it'll be better in a couple months when your stuff comes in. I hate that. But um, not much can be done about it. So, anyway, I hope it is wonderful wherever you are. Uh, it's a nice, bright, sunny day here. We're supposed to have gusts up to 60 miles an hour today, this afternoon. So, uh, yeah, not a good day to maybe be out hitting balls. Um, could be a wild and crazy day to go play, but uh, I will be working. So, um, be safe, have fun, hit a lot of good shots, and I will keep you updated on what is going on in the world of buds. Take it easy, guys. We'll talk to you later.